Hi guys, so today we are going to launch the gazebo view and a viz view of our Unitree robot. So first of all, we want to see the description of our Alien Go robot and launch the Revis program, so like this. And now we will be able to see a description of our robot with Revis. So here we can see our Alien Go robot. We can change the hip joint, all the, all the joints we can change to see the degrees of freedom of our robot. And at the same time, we can uh, we we have all the reviews um, settings that we can use. Okay, so after we saw this, we can close the reviews, and now we can go and see our gazebo um, program. So first of all, we will want to launch our gazebo program with Frost Launch and it will gazebo, then normal launch. And then in our name, we can put our robot name. So in our case, Alien Go, but we could choose a one like a Go and so on. And for the word, in this case, we choose stairs, but we can choose, for example, space or earth. So let's run this program. If you have a program, uh, a problem with your uh, with running your program, it's probably due to the fact so here we can see our Alien Go robot. So as I, uh, as I was saying, if you have a problem launching this, uh, you will have to download all the packages. But if you have a problem launching this, the Unitree servo that will enable the servo motors and will uh, put it into a standing position, if you will have a problem here, um, it's just the fact that you didn't install all the packages for your gazebo uh, program. So I le left um, um, a comment in uh, the description of the video so you can download the necessary packages. So by running this, we run the Unitree uh, and we can see that the robot opened the uh, legs. We can try with another robot. So for example, we can do the same simulation with the a wild robot, so now I am closing everything. Okay, now we can launch, for example, the A1 robot. So, just like this, we can launch our A1 robot. So, as you can see, it's launching the simulation, and um, yeah, now we will want to we'll put it into a standing position, so like this, and then we as you can see it stands up. At the same time we can use another terminal like uh, this one and add an external force so for example i can go and uh, do rust run in three as you can see we have these choices and we will use an external force okay and we can do some uh, some pushes to the robot so for example up and you can see i pushed it same thing in the left direction and right direction okay And now, as you can see, we use the move kinetics, so we can see it move in a round 
position this can be used to simulate our sensors and so on okay so this is the end of the tutorial i hope you liked it and uh, yeah bye